Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing a first impressions on skin from the house of Maison Rabachi. Tremendous. So, today we are concluding our investigation of the house of Maison Rabachi. <laughs> and when I have gone through all of the fragrances a house has sent in their sample set, they, these weren't sent to me, I bought these by the way, I just worded that terribly. When I've gone through a sample set from a brand, right, on paper, I pick the ones I thought were nicer than the others and I put them on skin. I didn't do that with the original Dore sample set that I bought because I didn't want to, frankly. Um, I ended up just giving that away. Which I do with all my sample sets, to be honest now. Um, whoops. This chair is making weird noises. Anyway. I... There are other samples as well where I've done that and I've just thought, I don't want to try these on skin. But not to worry. So two from Maison Rabachi intrigued me enough to the point where I thought, yes, I am in fact going to try these on skin. And the two that I'm going to try are a Rose Rabachi and Pho Patchouli. Pho. So, on my left hand, I am going to don Rose Rabachi. And I'm going to do that right now. Who was the perfumer? Randa Hamami. This actually dried down rather nice. I feared amber would, but uh, it dried down quite nicely, this. And on my right hand, I'm gonna try Pho Patchouli. And this was made by Bertrand Duchefort. Now let's see what they do on skin, shall we? We'll give them a cup of a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or two to dry. <coughs> wow. That patchouli just went right the back of my throat. Very dry. Excuse me whilst I hydrate. Because that fur patchouli just fudd me up. Let's see what the internet has to say about these things, shall we? We'll go to... Fragrantica first. Rose Rebacci. Rose. Fruity, sweet, powdery, musky, floral, warm, spicy, and woody. Like the brand between East and West, the Rose Rebacci draws its inspiration from the Middle East. The essence of the Damascena rose and the absolute Turkish rose in a veil of powdered iris and white musks are delicately mixed and with velvety notes of peach, crunchy apple and prickly bay roses and red gold, the famous saffron. The white musks mingle in the background with warm sandalwood, amber grey and vibrant cedar no wood, a note from the brand. Randa Hamami. So the notes are raspberry, I remember that. Peach, saffron, pink pepper, and apple. Mid notes are damask rose, Turkish rose, and orris root. Base notes are white musk, sandalwood, ambergris, and cedar. I would be shocked to my very core, to my very core, if there was any ambergris in this. But let's have a whiff, shall we? That. Little fruity little rose thing's really nice. It's got a touch of myrglantine about it on skin. Like the rose in myrglantine. What well, does remind us of like a bathroom when somebody's been using rose scented um, shower gel washing products or anything like that. Um, It's got that kind of vibe. It's nice. It's got a depth to it. 
Uh, it's got a bit of a depth to it, a little bit of warmth, you know. I don't know if that's coming from like the sandalwood or the orris root. Maybe it's the saffron too, you know. It's nice. It's a little fruity too, the peach and the raspberry giving it that. And the apple as well, I suppose. But the apple's much more of a supporting note than it is than it is front and centre, even though it's a top note and I've just sprayed it. Um, this is probably the best made, if I'm being honest, from the line that I've smelled so far. Um, the two Roussels from this line were really disappointing. Um, really disappointing from someone who's got the back catalogue that he's got the stuff he's been releasing in the last, what, number of years has been really bad. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So next, for patchouli. So smoke patchouli, I think. Fu. Fu. Patchouli. So smell this. This was made by Dufy4 in 18. Powerful woods muted with... Oh, that's such a bad start. Powerful woods muted with hints of cypress are dominated by patchouli. A magnificent and spicy symphony of cloves, cinnamon, black and pink pepper explode like a brass ensemble. The rich, dense and intense perfume is as, mystery, as, as mysterious as it is intoxicating. A note from the brand. So cassis, pink pepper, citron, aldehydes, black pepper, bergamot, sweet orange. Middle notes are wormwood, cloves, carnation, cinnamon. Base notes, patchouli, incense, labdanum, myrrh, oak, moss, musk, vanilla, caramel and driftwood. Driftwood's usually a bad sign as well because that's usually code for fucking synthetic amber wood. To me, I smell something like Akigala wood, like a like a synthetic patchouli kind of thing. It doesn't. It's not the kind of patchouli I like. Sorry, it dries my throat out, which is another giveaway that I think it's got amber woods in it. Um, I get a little bit of the pepper. Um, I get a little, a tiny bit of like something like cloves, something dry and a bit dusty. Um, could be the incense as well, but it's not very exciting. It's certainly not the style of patchouli that I like. I like thick, like gloopy, resinous patchouli, you know, smooth, um, like the original Bois. 1920 rail patchouli don't buy the new one it's awful i think this one this is the type of patchouli i like i love this stuff you know oh it's so good um this smells synthetic it smells very clean it's got that kind of woody kind of <coughs> sorry i've it's this fucking tickly cough. It's got that woody, clean kind of thing going on, which isn't... It's not very pleasant, you know? Um, if you could put these two fragrances together, they'd probably be better. Um, apart from the whole amber wood thing. There are so many patchoulis now. All right? And throughout history, since the 60s, you know, that if you're going to make a fucking patchouli, it had better be fucking good. You know? Patchouli Imperial by Dior. Brilliant. Uh, Real Patchouli ADT. The original. Don't trust the boxes. Yeah, or the toilet. 
Ähm Coromandel, Borneo 1834, which are almost the same fragrance. Um All these classic patchoulis. This patchouli was boring. Frankly, boring. And uncalled for, unnecessary. Just another one, another drop in the ocean, you know. It's tight, it's designed, it's well made, don't get us wrong, it's it's put together. Um it just feels like another patchouli. Aki Gala wood more more like Aki Gala wood than it is like um, like a woody patchouli sort of thing a part of patchouli Rose Rabachi better better but it does remind us of Miraglantine the rose from Miraglantine It's pink, it's fresh, it's youthful, it's feminine a little bit, um, on my skin, much less resinous or ambery than it was on paper it's fresh it's nice if you were buying this for a young lady late teens early 20s or a happy person a happy person could wear this um it is nice it doesn't smell like it's got any horrible synthetics although it could have some nice synthetics in it it doesn't smell like it's got any of those amber woods in it that I, that I hate so much. Or if it does, they've been blended beautifully. Unlike, unlike for patchouli where you can still smell them. Dry, dusty, clovey. I'm not going to buy either of these. I'm not going to buy anything from the line. Disappointing. Disappointing is how I would say this sample set has been. Not a great house. Overall, if I'm being honest. The prices aren't that bad for niche fragrances. Um, but the, for what niche should be, this isn't. these aren't great. You know, these are not great. Any of them. Uh, these are two of the best, two of the best in my opinion. Um, and on skin, they're just, they're just not good enough to spend that kind of money on. Now, whether you think that Rose Rabachi would be a good alternative to Miraglantine, if that's something you've been trying. But Miraglantine feels like it does Rose Rabachi better. You know? It just does. If you want to smell like a rose-scented bath or rose-scented hair mist, that kind of thing, where it's got that hot shower rose product going on then go for that not really much point in buying any of these in my opinion so there it is friends <clears throat> my my conclusion of the investigation of the house of maison Rabachi. I uh, would pass, and I am going to pass on all of these fragrances, unfortunately. 
you may not, you may like them. So if I were you, get the sample set and certainly don't blind buy any. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I will see you on my next first impressions. I don't know which house that's going to be. I've got quite a lot to choose from. I've got like four. I keep thinking about buying more sample sets, but then I remember how many I've got and I'm like, whoa, just get through them first. So that's what I'll do. Thanks everyone. See ya.